Characteristics for evaluating musical performances. Timbre. Timbre is the color of the sound, or how it sounds, the way it sounds that distinguishes one instrument or voice from another. Examples of describing timbre, light, heavy, bright, dark, strident, piercing, rounded, clear, breathy or airy, reedy, brassy, focused or unfocused, mellow, harsh, warm. Tone. Tone is the quality of the sound. How good or poor is the sound being performed? These are some words to describe the tone. Good tone is, can be described as warm, round, in tune, full, centered, open, big, dark, clear, rich, focused, poor tone, small, too loud, hard, harsh, muffled, pinched, uncentered, tight, dull, overblown, fuzzy, thin, weak, airy. Pitch. Pitch is the highness or lowness of sound, not the volume. You describe the pitch as either being high or being low. Dynamics. Dynamics is the loudness or the softness of the sound that's being performed. Soft dynamics can be described as mezzo piano, abbreviation MP, which means moderately or medium soft. Piano, abbreviated P, is soft. Pianissimo, abbreviated PP, very soft. The loudness can be described as fortissimo, or two Fs, meaning very loud. Forte, abbreviated one F, loud. Mezzo forte, abbreviated MF, which means moderately or medium loud. Rhythm. Rhythm is a pattern of regular and irregular beats. It is a pattern of short and long beats as well as silence. So when you're describing rhythm, is it syncopated? What is the tempo? Is it even? Is it unaccented? What is the meter? Is it polyrhythmic or has many rhythms? Is it uneven? Is it accented? Form, or how music is structured or put together. When describing form, you describe the number of parts it has. These are the terms that you use. Is it binary? Does it have an A and a B part? A is one section. B is a different section that sounds totally different from A. Just like a verse and a chorus in a song. The verse will be the A part the B part would be the chorus. So binary has two distinct parts. Rounded binary, we describe that with A, B, A form. It has two distinct parts because of the A and the B, but the A section, which is the first section, returns at the end of the song. Rondo form, A, B, A, C, etc. It could have three or more different sections where the first section, A, is repeated after each new section. So just think of the A section being a line, say, row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Then the B section could be a totally different line. Jack be nimble, Jack be quick, Jack jumped over the candlestick. Then Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream, comes back. And then the C section. Guess what I saw? I saw a piggy. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. So the A section always comes back and repeats after each new section.
Also, when you're talking about the form, you also think about the theme of the song or the main idea. You ask, does it have variations? Is the theme stated and then is it slightly altered later on uh, where you still recognize the theme but it sounds a little bit different? Does it repeat? Does it have repetition? Do you hear it only once, the theme? Or does it keep appearing multiple times or various times throughout the song? Harmony. More than one note playing at the same time. We ask these questions when we're describing harmony in the song. Do you hear chords being played? Chords are three or more notes being played at the same time. Are they dissonant? Dissonant means it sounds like noise or they don't fit together. Just think of if somebody were to lean on the piano and they just pressed all the keys all at once. That's considered dissonant. What key is the song in? Is it the key of B flat? Is it the key of F? Are they consonant? Consonant means it has a pleasant sound. Like when you play chords that ha and all the notes belong in that chord and it sounds good to hear. Or like when you hear a group singing and they're singing in harmony and it sounds pleasant and you like listening to it. That's what consonant means. What scale or scales is the song based on? Sometimes a song can start off in one key and then it could change later on in the song to a different key. Melody. The notes are the pitches that follow one after the other in a meaningful way. What is the shape of the melody? Does it move in steps where the notes are gradually getting higher? Da, 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 da. Or does it move in leaps where the note suddenly moves from a low note to a high note or vice versa? Da, da. Da, 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 da. Is it progressing downward? Da, 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 da. Is it progressing upward? Da, 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 da. If you were to give the melody a shape, would it look angular? Would you see that as um, like if you're doing leaps? Da, 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 da. Or is it curved? Da. Curved means the notes are closer together when they are progressing either upward or downward. Angular is more leaps, so the notes are going to be further apart in pitch. The texture. How much is going on in the music at any time? When we describe the texture in a song that either we're playing or somebody else is playing, we use one of two terms. We can describe it as being thick. Thick means it, many things are happening. Multiple instruments playing different parts at the same time. Or, let's say half of the band is playing, or half of the orchestra is playing, or you have most of the choir singing, or all of the choir singing. That's a thick texture. A thin texture means there's very few things happening, like in a solo. If someone is singing solo, a cappella, without music, that's a thin texture because you only have one thing going on. Or you might have two voices uh, playing, like a clarinet and a flute. Those two sections are playing at the same time, and then later on, the whole band comes in. When the clarinet and flute are playing, that texture is thinner than when the whole band is playing because you have more things happening. The texture can also be described as being 
polyphonic or monophonic. Polyphonic, poly means many, phonic means sounds. So polyphonic means many sounds or many different parts being played. Monophonic, where mono means one, phonic is still sounds, so one sound. It means one sound such as everyone singing the same part, like in a unison. So as we are listening to music that either someone else performed or that we performed ourselves, we can use these characteristics to describe that music or that performance. We describe its timbre, form, harmony, melody, texture, tone, pitch, dynamics, and rhythm. We can describe whether they were good or they were bad. And with texture, we're just describing what is happening in the music. I hope this helps, and you all have a good day. Bye-bye.